Right folks, I'm here at Railway Training School and this is a model to demonstrate, assist with teaching the principles of mechanical interlocking. Interlocking is essential and it prevents any unsafe conditions being set up i.e. you couldn't have uh, uh, two conflicting routes, you couldn't have any conflicting movements for safety, i.e. you couldn't uh, have two trains, say one coming over here and another coming that way and uh, going bang in the middle, it just couldn't happen. Uh, interlocking was brought in in the late 19th century as a result of uh, several tragic disasters and here is the model of the lever frame very beautifully made and which shows all the essentials these are the locking dogs etc this would be found under the signal box under there you have the cranks uh, with uh, point rodding and signal wires going out to the equipment on track points and signals ground signals Interlocked with the points Ordinary running signals And this which is important which I will explain in just a moment but first I will say that presently all levers are in the frame, i.e. normal. However there is one, which is this blue one, and you'll see they're all colour coded. Black for points, blue for FPL, red for home signals, or danger signals rather, and white levers are spur. There are various other lever colours, but they are not uh, present on this frame, namely uh, yellow for a distant signal, uh, green for a gong, uh, white with black chevrons pointing either up and down depending on, on if they relate to the up or down line as detonator places and half red half yellow for i believe it was intermediate block signals now the fpl is important because that stands for facing point lock they were mandatory they, they became a legal requirement for all facing points i.e where the direction of travel is over the points uh, the points had to be locked securely to secure the switch rail so there was no danger of that switch coming open under a train. They then became, or uh, are now, all uh, also fitted to trailing uh, points as well. Although you will see uh, on this model, they are not. So with the FPL lever in the frame those points are not locked they can be moved they are free to move you see so say I have set a route up for the main line I want to clear that signal which is the uh, home up main I believe 
sorry it's not the home up main that's the home up main it was one of these the down but we can't clear it that is because the FPL the points weren't locked so the interlocking had prevented uh, the signal from being cleared now you see I can clear the signal so without the FPL I could not clear that signal same you know to send a train into the loop obviously the route has to be correct aren't set for the loop so we shall do that now I shall set the points for the loop again they need to be locked and that will be now the down the home down main to loop like so So those levers are now reversed, i.e. out of the frame. And you will see the points. Now that signal is cleared. The points, the FPL, it cannot be released until that signal is replaced to danger. Then the points can be normalised. Uh, what else is there? There's the crossover there. So let's see now. The home up main, for instance. Home up main, that's a route uh, straight ahead, straight along the, uh, the up. No problem. I want to set the crossover, I want to signal a train across. So I'll go to the crossover uh, point lever. Can't get it. That is because the up main is cleared. So that must be cancelled, set to danger before the points can be obtained. Likewise, now that the crossover is set, I won't be able to get the up main. Because it's a conflicting route, conflicting movement. Uh, dangerous, you see. What else uh, is there? Let's get, let's clear the dollies. Just have to have a think about this now. That would be the crossover. So it would be shunt up to down main and loop there. Oh, no it wouldn't. I tell a light. It would be shunt down to up main. Shall I was a train to go across. Signals must be obeyed, of course. So yes, mechanical interlocking, still working, still very much in evidence. At uh, you know many places on the network, and. The natural progression was electronic or power interlocking, which did, you know, more or less the same thing but allowed remote control, i.e., power boxes. So I hope you found that interesting. It is a very nice model, a working uh, demonstration model.
There you go.